Welcome back guys, Kids on Playground here, and today we're back for another video in Scratch. And today we'll be making an analog scra uh, clock on Scratch. So, um, if you have not heard about our new Discord server, uh, or our new studio, just, uh, join it. You should be able to see it in our bout. So, uh, so let's just jump right in, into our analog clock project. So, let's do this. So, Green flag is click. It picks a random clock, so there's three clocks to pick from, and I actually got lucky. Picked all three, because like normally, it stays the same. Uh, but there's a second time, and it tells you the exact time right now in military time. So it's 18:49:24. So you can also change that to being 6:49 p.m., but it's 18:49:32. So that's what we have. I'll let you guys, I'll show you guys how to do the, how to use, uh, if, if you want this to be like six o'clock, oh, uh, I'll show you guys how to do that later. So, um, let's get started. Before we begin on our project on the analog clock, I would really appreciate it if you guys liked, shared, and subscribed and left a comment down in the below in the comment section to help the algorithm to help our channel grow. So the First thing we want to set up is our sprites. So we have to get our sprites. So I actually have everything in the backpack. Uh, but, uh, so the clocks are actually a part of the backdrop, so. Delete the scratch cat and let's get some stuff for the backdrop. So let's put in the clocks. So all you have to do is get a picture of a clock and just, uh, So, um, I just put down all three of mine, so, yeah, we have clock one, clock two, and clock three, so you get a picture of the thing, you delete the, um, little thing, the hour, the minute, and the second thing, so, yeah, just an analog clock image for you, this one, uh, just export the sprite, or, or just this one, uh, delete this, these, so, and make your own for the thing, so, uh, let's do this. So if you wanted a custom one, you can use a galaxy picture. So we searched up a galaxy picture, galaxy star and round. So if I clicked on this, we have the galaxy image or just click on this. We have the galaxy image and we just download this, export it into your thing. And we, this could be the background of our clock and we could add the numbers like 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. And um, yeah, like this. For example, we got handwriting here, and we also have the hands. So let's just rename this project Analog Clock. This project can come in handy if you are doing an event that happens at a certain time. So you want to look closely on your analog clock. So um, we have to get our second, our uh, minute, and our hour. So. We have everything set up, so I'm going to do a short drawing of how to draw the hour thing because it might be a little bit hard. Okay, so let's do this. Let's paint a sprite. We have a circle at a uh, kind of light blue color. Out, no outline. And make a circle. And we have to... Get a rectangle and put it like that and make, uh, that's basically how we made our second, uh, thing, but red and that's kind of how, so we shape the, the rectangle. So it looks like kind of like a triangle type of crystal shape. And we have our, our a uh, minute or hour key or whatever and you draw a small red rectangle in the middle of it so let's just delete this and you can just reshape it a little bit as you can see it's not as good as my other one so let's just delete this delete this and let's get started on the project be sure to keep it the same location so as you can see, I'm going to copy-paste this. Exact same location on the cross. So, 
that's what we want to do so be sure to do that um yeah let's get started so let's uh start on the second so when the green flag is clicked as always it'll go to the middle which is zero zero it'll go to the front layer so it'll be in front of everything i'm pretty sure the second is supposed to be in front of everything it'll go forever Pit, point in direction a um something times six so so the current second times six where's current second Times six. So yeah. So the reason for this times six is because if you're from what you want to go from twelve to three, there's actually five ticks. The uh the seconds bar ticks five times in between uh one number to the other. So that means it would take fifteen ticks to get to three, and that and. The, uh, 12 to 3 is a 90 degree angle, meaning that uh, 5 ticks in each, that's 15. And how to get 90, 15 times 6 equals 90. So that's the reason for that. And we have to wait one second because it's one second. Okay, so we are actually finished with the seconds key. Let's move on to the minute. So when the green, when the green flag is clicked... We have to make a new variable actually, and it's angle, and we have to make it for this sprite only. And when the green flag is clicked, let's just zoom in a little bit. When the green flag is clicked, it'll go to this position. It'll go forever. And it'll set the angle to current minute times six, because times six as always, like that. So we have times current angle times six. We add the six, oopsies, six. Set angle to current minute times six. And now we'll change the angle. So it's slowly changing uh, by current second. So it's moving a little bit. Yeah, so it's moving slowly, and we add the division, and current second, oh, where is that, current second, divided by 10, so it's just moving ever so slightly, and then it'll point in direction of angle, and wait one second, okay, so, if you want to make the 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 angle like the minute key move like after 60 seconds like just automatically move to the next minute then I got the code for you here. So if you want the minute hand to be not smooth like if you're a fan of that all you have to do is put point in direction Current minute times six. We just have it right here. Current, oopsies. Current minute times six. And it'll wait one second. So that's what we have if you don't want it to be as smooth. So you just replace th these with this. So these. So let's show you. So this is a different from the one that I had from before. So the minute is gonna uh, just change after one minute. So yeah. So after when it reaches the 12, it will change So Let's look at the minute hand. So it's at the 12 right now. <laughs> See, look, it just changed right there. So, that's if you are a fan of that. So, yeah. So, let's change that back. And now, let's work on the hour. And we are almost finished here. We have to work on the time as well. So, when the green flag is clicked, 
It will. You need a new variable angle. And for this sprite only, it'll go to x0, 0. And then it'll go forever. Set the angle to current hour times 30. So since we learned earlier that this from this is 90 degrees, that means every tick between there, so every basic every hour is 30. So 30 from 12 to 1 is 30, 1 to 2 is 60, and 2 to 3 is 90. So we set angle to the current hour times 30. So there we go, and uh, we have to change the change angle by current minute divided by two. Okay, so right here, current minute divided by two. We just have to duplicate this. And yeah, and we have to point in direction angle. And finally, wait 60 seconds. And there we go. Now we go to make a new, paint a new sprite. And we make a really small white circle. Let's just say about that big. And, um,. Uh, we have to move this tiny circle. I'm just going to make it go to the back. Since it has to think the time, we have to move this over here. So it's going to think the time. So when the green flag is clicked, it will go forever. And it will set a new variable time for this sprite only. And it'll set time to join, if you use join apple banana, so you join the current hour with the colon. And you just duplicate this and let's, you, instead of joining all of this, you join the, you need another join you join the time, so you put time, you join the time with another join, and you join the current minute with a colon. So, yeah. And you put that in here. And now you gotta set the time, you duplicate that, let's just, and to join, Delete this. Join the time with the current second. So we have that finished and we have to think the time. So it will tell you what the time is. If you don't know how to read an analog clock. So it will think the time. Yeah. And we'll close this variable right here. And we'll close the other ones too. So let's just do that real quick. Bam. Oopsie. This one. Bam. Yeah. So, um, we have the minute here, so we just changed the variable. Yeah. And now we go to the sprite one, which is our time. And, um, if you want to. Oh, since there's a dot right here, uh, I found a way to take care of it, so you set your ghost effect to a hundred and it will no longer show. So we have that. And if you like, if you, if it's right now is 7.08 PM and if uh, it shows military time, so it's 19.844. But uh, if you want it to be 7.08 PM, then you uh, copy down this code. Um, 
you have a join. Uh, so, and then you put a mod. So mod is the remainder of, so you put the join, you put mod, you put a 12 right here. So, um, so we have 12 and that's what it's getting divided by. So we have current hour. Where is current hour? Oopsie. Current hour. So join current hour, mod 12, and you put a colon. So we have that finished. And if you want to do that, you just have to take this out and replace that to make um like 7, 10 p.m. or whatever. Uh, so let's see. See, look, it says 7, 10, uh, 27. So you can either keep this time or you can go with the other time. So. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, our clock is working, uh, both ways. So you see the second and the minute and we have the hour. Oh yeah. And one last thing before we have to finish. So when the green flag is clicked, uh, if you want to make a random clock for every single time, because we do have three clocks here, you have to switch the backdrop to a pick random backdrop. You pick random one, two, three. And so now it will be a different clock. Not all the time, but uh, yeah. So you see our clock is working here. So please like. Share, subscribe, and comment in the comment sections below and what else videos you want. Join our Scratch Studio and our Discord, and see you guys next time.